Okay, so today I'm going to show you the subfixture layout view builder that I built for Granite 3. Um, so you can see from the 3D view here, I've got a bunch of JDC ones that are highlighted, and I've also got spiders that are right next to it. And these fixtures have a lot of uh, sub instances uh, for like plates and beam and all their little LED fun. Um, and Granime 3 is really good, f uh, at least after version 1.5, um, has a feature where it can build layout views based off of a camera perspective. Um, and that works great, but only works on the main fixture instances. So like the JDCs and the spiders I have kind of as they are shown in that 3D view. Um, the problem with this is it only works with the main fixture instance. It doesn't work for sub-fixture instances. So this is a solution to that. Um, so you can see that I have a JDC sub-fixture layout view and spider layout view that actually have the uh, sub-fixture instances in them. Um, and these are applied based off of the positions of the main fixture layout view here and a template, which you can see here and here, and then actually a builds a layout view to for it. Um, so let me show you how, how to use this. I'm going to switch to a different show file real quick. Save that. Um, so here I have two JDC ones, um, and just like the other show file, uh, I have a layout view that has those two JDCs built in here and I also have the the template and the this one sub fixture instance I have enlarged just so that you can see how the flipping works later but you can build this however you wish um, so the, the really big important uh, thing to know is that the plugin only applies to the main instances and uh, template in elements that are selected so that's not to say that they're selected in the programmer. That means that that's, um, they have to be selected in the layout view. So if you edit the layout view, so I can get to that by pulling down the swipey and going to edit, uh, there's a column here that says selected. Uh, so they have to be a, a yes in here. Um, and then the ways you can change that is you can either come into the sheet and change it manually or if you go into setup and then select it and get out of setup, it will stay. So if I clear out the programmer, you can see that they're still selected here. Um, so yeah, you only select them while you're in the setup mode. Um, and the same thing applies to the uh, template. So if I want to select all of the elements in the template, I hit setup, grab them all, get out of setup. And if I open it, you can see they're all selected now. So it'll actually get applied by the plugin. Um, so as if I load the plugin, so or let's go through the parameters real quick. So there's a couple of parameters inside of the plugin um, that you can do just by getting to the edit pay edit window. Um, so there's these here. Um, the first parameter is the source layout. So this has all of your main instances. The template layout will have your template elements, uh, layout view with your template elements, and then the destination layout is where you want it to store the new layout. Um, the scaling factor is a little special. Um, by default, elements in a layout view will be a height and width of 50. Um, and that's a problem when you have, if you, can, if you take a template with, say 10 elements the width of 50 but you only have the one main instance that's also a width width of 50 then they're gonna stomp on top of each other so this acts as a multiplier so like if i have two instances one at position zero and one at x of zero and one at x of 10 then this is going to multiply those position values the for the start position of your new template elements so uh the new template elements will start at 0 and then 20, respectively. Uh, the override enabled, that just basically, if you rerun the plugin, it will delete whatever layout is in the destination. Uh, if it's enabled, if it's true, um, you may want it 
not to do that uh, in case, let's say you want to run the plugin multiple times on a specific layout view for uh, having different mirror options. Um, and then and speaking of the mirror options, I've got a couple here. So there's the mirror X and Y. So those work by flipping on the X and Y axis respectively. And then the mirror X, Y is a little special. It uh, mirrors along the X or the Y equals X axis. So this line here. So it'll kind of act like a uh, rotate 90 degrees, but not really. It's really just mirroring along this axis. Um, so that's all the settings. And you'll notice that I have mirror X set to true in here, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so, yep, so let me just make sure that I've got these selected, and I'll show you it working. Select those, come in here, select those, and then run the plugin, and you can see that it just created a new layout view based off of it. Um, and because I had mirror on the x-axis enabled, you can see that it actually mirrored along this x-axis. So if I, to show you that it worked, if I select a couple and I turn on highlight mode, and we go into 3D view, you can see it selects it here. But this is, the I clearly have the flip options wrong uh, since at Pretty sure I was supposed to have mirror on the y-axis, but uh, to show you, let me just change that and rerun the plugin so I can change it here. So false, and true, and if I delete the layout just to reset it and rerun it, should that should be correct now. So let me select just that one instance. Oh, no, I guess I still needed a mirror on the x-axis. Oh, well. Um, but let me show you. So to show you, uh, let me just demonstrate real quick that you can merge the layouts together and also show you the uh, mirror on the xy. So if I delete here, um, I'm just going to delete that second instance, and but I only want my new settings to apply to my second instance, so I'm just going to select only that second instance here, and we can verify that only that second fixture is selected, uh, and then I can just come in here and adjust my settings, so I want it, let's just say false and true here. changes and then apply so you can see it only it, it, it merged it into the same layout view um, but only applied it on the oops um, only applied it for that that second main fixture there um, and it'll work like I said the same way on the template view so if you only want let's say these uh, elements applied to your new layout then just select them using the uh, setup mode um, yeah, so have fun, play around with it. Uh, there is a GitHub page um, for the code. It is open source, so feel free to fork it and make whatever changes you want. Just, you know, credit the source if you use it any, on any of your projects. Um, let me know if there's any issues. You can just make a new issue in the, uh, in the GitHub page. But yeah, have fun.